Hi, my name is Sean Olson. I'm going to demonstrate to you how to set up a simple ragdoll rig here. And this is a trifold panel for a display and a, and a level. And uh, some people have asked me why there's always a green box in my scene. I always uh, make up models with a reference of a 72 by 24 by 24 uh, box. That represents around the size of a player model. So that's my reference for sizing. So, okay, we have this trifold model and it's just three panels here. The first thing I'm going to want to do is set my pivot points to each panel to where it will hinge at. So to, to change those, you go to the hierarchy tab in the command panel and choose effect pivot point only. What I want to do is align this pivot point to this edge here. Click the align, choose here, and I've already got it set up to align on the X and Y pivot to maximum. I'm going to hit OK. Now I need to do the same thing over here, only it's going to be the minimum of this target. So now it's going to hinge along that point. Hit OK. So now I need to link, let's get off of here. What we need to do is link these two to this one. So this will be the parent object. So now they're all linked together. Now I can take these and rotate them, as you can see here. And since I have them on the backside hinging, I'm going to do it from this angle. So this is going to be the default pose of my display. So the next thing we need to do is to go into the IK section of the hierarchy and select each of these elements. So the, for this first one, what we need to do is actually have all of these active, but what you need to do is for ones, the axes that we do not want to rotate on, just choose limited and keep them from zero to zero. Now the z-axis is one we want it to be able to move from. So what we're going to choose is the the minimum level, which is on this case going to be around there, to a maximum of and it appears I aligned the pivot point to the wrong place here. I'm going to fix that real quickly. So let's start over here. What we want to do is tell this to have the IK limited, active and limited, and zero to zero on any axis you don't want it to move from. Then on those that you want it to have a limited range, what we do is we set it to where you want it to be from the minimum to the maximum angle that it can that it can turn and this one we're going to have it limited to all of these and this one we're going to limit it from here to here so now we should be ready to be able to send this into source so what we do is open up the wall where model tools and remember this one the parent is going to be uh, the root model now the way wall where model tools works is when you hit pick model what you want to do is pick the very root mesh for your model and what happens is that object's pivot point is what's used in the pivot point of your model and the name of your mesh right here is used as the default model name so when we export it, it will be model name now we need to add these other two meshes because right now if we were to export it, it would only be this one center panel so we can select these extra ones and hit add selected right here and now those meshes are part of this model you can tell later by deselecting everything and clicking this select model 
it will select all of the meshes that are part of your model which you can see all three pieces are there if your model is simple like this one and all the pieces are convex and they're separate then you can actually use these three pieces in your collision model I can hit add CM cell and all of these three will actually become the objects of this now what I want to do also here is if I want to, if I did this and I want these to move like that I also need to set each of these up to use their bone and what you can do to do that is go to animation bone tools and for each one of these choose bone on now by doing this we don't have to skin our models we don't have to skin each mesh and we do not have to skin the collision holes and since the collision holes are each piece in this instance it just saves some time no skinning involved A complex model where the model is not matching the collision hole and not sharing them then you can't use this also you'll have a problem if you are trying to do this with a complex model that has multiple sub objects that you do not want to have smoothing groups on and you have if you want to break those that model up into pieces using a, uh, the concave flag here you'll have a problem with this scenario too because the concave function of models with multi sub objects sub elements requires each sub element to have a unique smoothing group which may not work correctly so what I'm showing here does not work in all circumstances but if it's a simple rig like this you can do it like this the next thing here is in order to use this as a ragdoll with the limits here we're gonna have to choose joint constraint and we should actually be able to export this a couple more things here I probably want to choose auto mass and choose a surface property for this I'm just gonna choose cardboard well let's export it so we have an error here rotational constraint on bone display board which has no parent and this is caused because on this center element in the IKEA I chose that this is active and limited the root cannot have any IK constraints okay these two which are parented which are children of this one do if we go to them and look at theirs we can have these but for the root one we can't do that so by unchecking these for this root one that will solve that problem when you happen to see that here we go again export so to get our ragdoll into the scene we need to create a prop ragdoll entity which you can see you can choose that from these options so I'm gonna put this here and browse to my model so here's the display and I'm gonna put a, a few of them in the scene here now I'm gonna go to flags and there are different options here that you can choose you one of them is start asleep if you choose that one on it then it won't move to begin with and then there's this don't collide with the player and other debris I'm going to choose this one over here to uncheck that one and start asleep this one is does not collide but starts awake this one is does not collide but starts asleep and this one is starts asleep and then I'm gonna compile this so let's create a server running it and you should notice that one of these falls down almost immediately or may or may not I will see here okay looks like it's it's not falling down but this one is not colliding with me okay now this one is also not colliding with me but this one should collide with me you can see that it's now closing up here I might be able to knock it down there it goes it gets knocked down 
And it looks like the angles of this were not completely accurate. I didn't set the limits perfectly. Now this, I should be able to shoot this. And this. <clears throat> this one is colliding. But this one is not because of the flags that I set. In, and again, I can walk through this one. But this one collides with me. See? Alright. Well, that was a brief uh, explanation of how to get some ragdolls in the game real quickly. Sorry these models weren't super awesome. In fact, they're pretty cheesy, but they demonstrate to you the process and what goes into it. Hopefully you found it useful. Uh, please feel free to join the Wallworm forums at wallworm.net. Also, remember to keep coming back to wallworm.com for the latest versions and updates to the model tools. I'm trying to keep them up to date as much as possible. And on the forums, I'd like to get more people on there uh, sharing what they do and then sharing feedback, either suggestions or helping each other. I do get a lot of emails from people asking for help, and a lot of times the emails are asking the same questions. And it would be a little bit more convenient for me if people would... Uh, ask their questions inside uh, the forums so that when I answer them uh, other people can benefit from them. Again my name is Sean Olson this is the Wallworm Model Tools in action this is Ragdolls and have a good day.